Hello everybody, welcome back to Persona 4. My name is Crystal Face and let's get this strange mystery going. Yeah, we're still alive, Chie. What you know about that? Alright, let's see here. Where are we? Are you guys okay? Stream? Are you guys okay? Your understanding has increased. Okay, my understanding just increased. I, 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 cracked I understand now. better. Man, you're a damaged person. You're just getting hurt all over of the place. Of course it is. Crack. Whoa. <laughs> butt cracked. What, what now? Did you wet your pants? <laughs> I'm probably sure you did. No, stupid. Look around. It looks like a big old stage. Is this a, a studio? Yeah. Oh, well, it looks fog. like it. Fog, or, or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Well, there is now. Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Just fly into the sky, back in through, through the TV portal. Let's look around. Let's go home. It's up to you. Let's look around. Huh? But, but... Well, I mean, we can't really do anything else. Look, we need to get home and... Yeah, how though? Just huh? prop up a ladder. Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? Uh, the sky. <laughs> I don't see a way in or out. Well, well, we have to look for a way out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Oh, GA. Okay, so how? Let's calm down. Let's look, let's look for. We're doomed. We're all doomed. Okay. Um, calm down is a good thing, but looking for a way out is a good slash productive thing to keep our interest yeah, moving forward. Exit. We need to find one. Having a uh, in a, in a panicky situation, having an objective is a good way to calm down. Yeah. See, there you go. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? It looks like I'm looking through a really bad TV screen at them at all times. We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true. Oh, that's true, but... There you go. <laughs> if there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Alright, hopefully they'll let me uh, actually control the movements now. Well, I guess not. I guess they just found the way out, or... I don't know, that looks very menacing, place? actually. It feels different from where we were before. That's because you walk somewhere, G.A. That's how walking works. Looks like we're in some kind of It building. takes you somewhere we're... different. Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? How, how would he be sure? <laughs> I, oh, I don't know, this is just a different dimension. We gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but... I know this place like the back of my hand. Don't worry. It seems that there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Yeah, but like, are they not freaking out about that red door portal? Or have they been going through those? Um, I guess they have been going through those, apparently. Hey, Didn't worry is it about me that or is the fog lighter here? Where's Chie? No service. What a surprise. You should have checked that the first thing. You should have checked that way before now. Can't you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. <gasps> what the? Whoa, what's going on? Whoa, what? It's a dead end. There's no exit. Well, it's duh, but what about the freaking posters? It's getting creepier and creepier the further we go. This is your fault, Chie. You told us to do this. Uh, I can't hold it any longer. Just pee in a corner, dude. My bladder's gonna explode. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. It's better than, yeah, peeing You're your pants. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. I don't think there are any transdimensional bathrooms, Chie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. <laughs> 
I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. <laughs> like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Yeah. Their faces are all cut out. Really creepy. I hope... Well, it's probably blood. But I was hoping it's not. Somebody must really hate this person. Some red paint. Just, uh, decoration. Dude. This chair and rope. That kind of arrangement is never good. It's kind of weird how it's like a red bandana, too. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Yeah, I guess it's a scarf. Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. The plot thickens. Oh, there's a mirror over there. I don't know if that could somehow be a portal as well. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Hey, don't tell me that's Who that anchor woman. Let's go. I am sick of this place. I think it's the anchor singer so good. lady. Just judging by her body and kimono. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. Yeah, this I'm uh, seriously starting to feel sick. This atmosphere is oppressing me, man. I really don't know anything about this game, so this is sort of strange. Whew. We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? Uh oh. There's something over there. Let's kick it. That song again. Oh, I think I know who that is. <laughs> this is gonna be comical. Oh, oh, look at him. He's cute. Kind of creepy still though, because they don't know what thing? he is. A, a monkey? A bear? It's a bear. In the world? It's Teddy. That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? He's nuts. <gasps> it and talked. it talks. Uh, what are you? You you want to fight? That's not a good first thing to do. Don't, don't yell at me like that. The bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. Um... What is this place seems a little bit more important than who he is. This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. What? It's where I live. Oh, okay. You live here? Does he own the place or what? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Do you mean that you know where we're from or...? Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Oh, so he's been getting this before apparently. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Uh, do you hey, know how to get problem? out of here? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck's going on here? Oh. Gee, you're gonna scare him. Oh, okay. I thought I was just gonna leave forever. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. Well, we would love what to. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Hey. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Cool. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. Dude, chill. Like, <laughs> He's what? gonna do it. Well, what the... Oh, cool. What the hell? Sweet. Well, where did these TVs come from? By the tap of his foot, Chie. Duh. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. It doesn't really seem to be anything going on, going on here. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, wh what are you doing? S stop pushing! Whoa! That's pretty cool. I like that effect. Oh, the oh, hot. My butt's cracked. Huh? Did we? Oop, I accidentally make skipped it back? her thing. Yeah, we're totally back at Junis. Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area S on the first side floor. Side dish. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to dinner. take advantage of this incredible bargain. 
Crap, it's already that late? Huh. Looks like we were in there for quite a while. Or maybe time moves faster in there. Or maybe slower? That's right. Well, maybe it's just different. Different time. Now I remember where time I zones. saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. Uh huh. I think What's I'm up right. Now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I, I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Miss Suzu Hiragi. Yeah. She's been all over the news lately. Uh huh. Something about her husband having an affair the... with that announcer lady who died the other day. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. The Enka lady. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I, I don't... think about it. There was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. I don't understand how it could have been connected yeah, to her, though. Stop! No more! We gotta stop talking about this. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. You can't just do that, Yosuke. I'm feeling a chill, too. Well, I'm, I, mean, I mean, I guess if I was put in the same situation, I home. wouldn't do that. <laughs> I want to lie down and rest. But it's a crazy, crazy situation you guys are fa falling into. TV World, Murder Mysteries. Hey, welcome home. Hey, Dojima. Sorry I'm late for ramen noodles in a bucket. You still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. Know what? But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Mm, I met her yesterday. Um, she discovered the body. People feel sorry for her. She wasn't at school today. That sounds like the more. Oh, I see. Yeah, that sounds like the more uh, useful information I could have told him. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. Oh no. She's disappeared. Not. I hope she's not getting killed We've somewhere. We've got people <laughs> looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. That's terrible, dude. What if Yosuke finds out? Oh, he'll most likely find out. Work soon. just keeps piling up. He just calls it work. And now, but more it's on the case still people's lives, a man. Over the foggy town of Inaba. <clears throat> not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, Poor girl. her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. TV land? But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn. It's the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? So Yukiko might have a stake in all this. Oh yes! The Amagi Inn! Their hot springs are first rate! The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, huh. she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. I don't like that uh, lesson. I see. <laughs> Moving along, it's time for exactly. the weather report. He's like, um, that guy's the kind of a weirdo. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Jeez, what's with the fog, dude? Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Ana Amagi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. Why are they naming her, like, so prominently? <laughs> like, she's the manager. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? <laughs> oh, Nanako. Give it some more time. What is it, like cooking in that little bucket? <laughs> Whoa, you sneeze. I, I know that game. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Yeah, I'm still adapting. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? And some Clinique's? I don't know what that is. Kleenex is what I meant to say. You should get to bed after you take it. Take it! Alright, well I doubt there's anything else interesting to do, like usual. Let's see what's up 
Dojima. You should go straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. Alright, yeah, I doubt there's anything going on. I'm gonna save right quick. Every day's great at your tunes. Okay. Alright, uh, finished up saving. Let's go back to our room. Your body feels heavy again. It would be best if you went to bed early today. Let's sleep it up. Let's sleep it up. It's 2011. I'm assuming it's April. Because I think there was a big four there, so I think that's the month. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me that's Saki. Not Saki. She was so cool and she shaved her eyebrows weirdly. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Oh my gosh, dude. That's rough. That is freaking crazy. Dojima left the house. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Dang, dude. Are you kidding me with that? If that's Saki, it's... Who else would it be? Nanako looks worried. Yeah. I'm looking worried right now, too. Dude, this game... It's one of those, you know what I'm saying? Having a good time with it. You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Um, Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. Total disappointment. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? You're supposed to see all the crime happening with your eyes. Come on. Give me the juicy blood, blood stroke, blah, blah, blah. It seems there's been an accident. Da 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 da. You decided to head to school. You're supposed to. What I was trying to say is like you're supposed to see all the blood freaking, bloodthirsty cri criminals hey, attacking each other. Did you see it yesterday? Uh. So, oh no. Of course not. The body or what? Rumor for real? They're probably know, talking about the body. But it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Seen what though? You overhear people gossiping about something. Oh man. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. Uh oh, she's dead. She's probably I not dead. Why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden? Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Uh oh. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Oh no. He probably heard some rumors about it was Everyone, it being Saki please, being settle dead. Down. The school assembly is about to begin. Why is Cleopatra running this? First, the principal has something to say. Whoa, principal's super old, dude. Is that a monocle? I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. Oh, well, here it comes. One of our third year students, oh, no. Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, oh, my God. has passed away. Crap! I knew it. That's terrible. Passed away? Oh man. Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. That is so I mean the, the worst part behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. The worst part is how hung up they get on freaking poles and stuff. That's just terrible. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. What do you mean, bullying? Do you mean like in a kind of like suicide so mind type of thing? what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? That's... That just sucks, man. I don't know what to say. It's just so bad. Principal's address continues. Hey. She was so cool. I mean, I only talked to her for like a minute, but... She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. 
Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. Ugh. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Yeah, at this point, yeah. Definitely. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. That's even weirder. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Well, maybe not sci-fi. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. No way. What? He said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? What? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. Wait. So what the did we see that one time? The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Wait, Saki's hair was like gray, right? But but we Sheesh. saw brown hair. It's girl. easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Yeah. Oh, I thought Jessica hey, went upstairs. Did you guys check out the TV last night? Hmm, I don't think so. Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, uh -huh. and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Uh-oh. So maybe in a way... Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. Ugh, that's terrible. So maybe in a way, if they watch it before the murder happens, they can kind of know who's going to get killed or something, and then maybe prevent it? And then, she disappeared from the screen. Or, or I mean, that's me assuming. Let's see what? how this goes. You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Uh-huh. Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Oh, no way. Because he saw, he saw her on the Midnight Channel. Maybe... Just maybe, but... Because the whole soulmate rumor thing with the Midnight Channel? Yamano might have been on that Midnight Channel before yeah. she died too. That's it. That's what it was. I don't know what What's it means, that but... Supposed to mean? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Are you tell you me saying... fictional characters? People who appear on that TV die? That seems to be the case. I can't say for sure. Oh, man. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. Not at all. Uh, plus, remember what that bear thing said? Mm -hmm. How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. In that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. So, are there like designated I mean, rooms for the people that are get, kind getting of killed or something? There? Well, Doesn't duh. that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Of course. I don't know if they're not. Well, they're probably not accepting. What do you it. think? Well, Chie might not. Me? Yeah. That's preposterous. No, you might be right, dude. Not might. You're probably super right. So it's not just me, huh? Nope. If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. Maybe not went. They that probably got the posters took. in that room. Which means, if we look around. We might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. What does that mean? Find a place? Yosuke, Wait, in the world? Don't tell me that... uh, he meant in the TV world. I thought he meant just generally. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. I can't blame him. He liked her. He cared about it. Don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... Yeah, the police are gonna go to another you dimension. You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's yeah. no way they're gonna believe us. Mm, I highly I'm doubt that as well. Base with this, that's fine. It's just I need to know why Senpai. A had man's to die gotta do this. what a man's gotta do. Oh, Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. I'm Sorry. with you. But you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. You got it. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. Am I like the... I can kinda understand how he feels. Kinda? 
Am I like the only guy that we can go through? We can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. Am I the only guy that can activate the portal part of it? What should we do? I'm going, man. Let's just go. We gotta protect uh, him too. Are you serious? He's obviously gonna go, and I don't want him to get killed, so we gotta be there for him. Uh, anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Nope. Not in his time of need. Ah, uh, man, I'm still pretty... Just like, whoa, what the... What are you holding? Is that a giant you golf club? Came. Yeah, for real. For we sure, yo. Stop you, idiot. Well, Come I'm, on, I'm not you stopping really shouldn't you. Do this. It's too dangerous. What is he doing with that rope, though? I know, but we were able to come back once, right? Yeah, because of Teddy Bear. If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Hopefully we'll meet the bear again, because I think that's the only way you get out. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? Nah, dog. I can't leave it alone. This doesn't involve me. I'm worried about Chie. Well, I'm a little worried about her, though. She's acting very worried and stuff, and she doesn't want to do it. Um, I kind of want to say I'm worried about Chie, because at the same time, it's kind of like a good social link, I think is what it's called. <laughs> um, I'm worried about Chie. There's no telling what may happen over there. You voiced your concern over Chie coming along. Your understanding has increased. Sweet. Yeah. It'll be just you and me. Okay. I'm good for that. Don't worry. I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Hey, I think it's going on nicely. She'll be the rope huh? holder. What's that? A, a rope? I hope we'll that's a long rope. To me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. I, it doesn't seem very long, dude. You're gonna need some what? more... What? Then like, is this a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. You gotta go grab like a couple of Here. hoses and this stuff. This is for you. Tie those together. Here, Ace. Oh, cool. <laughs> what? Golf club? So that's where those fan art things have happened. I've seen this character holding golf clubs before. I'm like, what is that? Obtain medicine. Three. I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, we didn't encounter any right, bad guys go. last time, but uh, there's, there's no use no, wasting any more time. There's no telling. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Winky face. Let's do it. Hey, I said wait. Wait, I don't have a rope. Well, I mean, I guess I'm with him though. They're like willingly falling like a 30 foot drop. Whoa! Okay. I think I'll make that a thing of mine. Until someone voices their concern about it. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh oh! Oh no! See, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Oh no! Now what? I'm sorry, Chie. I'm so sorry. Who tied that rope? <sighs> oh. Yosuke, you suck at tying ropes, dude. Is this... Look, this is the same place as last time. Wait, it, So it, they are connected from place to place. It's not really connected. It just got cut off because of the portal. You guys, why'd you come back? So is it kind of like teleporting and or something? Because teleporting, could you could teleport like, for example... I get it. You're the ones behind this. What? We're not behind anything. For example, if you teleport, you might be able to, you might like teleport like into a wall halfway or something. Um but uh yeah, I'm going to end the episode for today here. This has been Crystal Face. I hope you're enjoying this Persona 4 playthrough. Uh I'm actually very excited to just keep playing this. Um uh like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends if you want. Uh check out the description show for a few extra links and fun. And I'll see you in the next episode.